Hey friends and welcome back. I'm really excited because I've got a mini Saison haul for 2022 to share with you guys. If you're not familiar with Saison, they are a French company based in Paris. They're ethical and sustainable, so a lot of their pieces are made in Europe and they're made with pretty high quality materials, I would say, for the most part, and the construction is phenomenal and they focus on classic French style. So if you're interested in French girl style or dressing like a French woman, then you have to check out Saison. On. They are fantastic. They do have actual stores here in the United States. I'm really, really fortunate and super grateful because Saison actually offered to gift me some product. Uh, which is mind-blowing. I'm so grateful. Thank you, Saison. So we're gonna get into it right now. I've got the box on my bed right there, and all the pieces are from the Fall 2022 collection, so if you're looking for fall fashion ideas or staple pieces, then hopefully these would help. They've got incredible stuff out right now, so it's really, really hard for me to choose, but I'm going to dig into the box because I haven't really opened it like I opened it just to peek inside, but I want to talk from start to finish about why Saison is such an amazing company and why I think they are actually far superior to similar brands. So, you know, the ones I'm talking about that start with an R. <laughs> but that's a whole different video. So let's go ahead and take a peek at the box. Okay, so here it is. First of all, it is just so pretty to see this. It actually has my name on it, which I cannot believe. The first thing that you notice when you get Saison is that it smells beautiful. You open the box and it smells like actual perfume. This got here so quickly, by the way. I did pay for express shipping, which was only $12 from France, but it got here like within two days of me ordering it, so I'm kind of blown away. But this is the Basil, or the Basil Gilet, or sweater. It's like a knit cardigan in beige clair, and I got the size small, so we'll go ahead and pull that out. Just to top off my order, I got these beautiful socks. So they're in the color brown or marron, and they're just so sparkly and pretty, and I feel like they're fun and chic and elegant without being too over the top with the color, if you know what I'm saying. So you can see that I'm trying to keep my color palette pretty minimal right now. One thing that's kind of a bummer is that the sweater got all these little sweatery pieces over these beautiful pants. These are the Damon pants or pantalon. They are kind of like a cropped classic black slack. And then uh, I got the, to go with it, or actually let me go ahead and pull that out just to see what it looks like. Ooh. Oh my gosh, these are gorgeous. I'm gonna open them up in a second. Oh, oh, oh wow. They look like they're going to be the most amazing fit of all time. I can't wait to, what do you call that, lint roll these. They look beautiful. I got these in a 36, which is a four, I believe. The final piece I got was the bl uh, Valentine blouse in Ecru. It is stunning, and I. it is definitely right up my alley from you know, my normal taste. It's different enough for me to say yes to it because I feel like I don't have anything this intense and lacy or this high necked. And you guys saw my last Saison review. I was really hesitant about the high neck of the blouse and I just wasn't sure how it would fit. But we're gonna try it on and see how it fits. I haven't tried any of this on, so I have really no clue how it's gonna work, but I'm hoping it looks great. I tried to like create one whole outfit. The other really neat thing is that it comes with a return label. So free returns, which is amazing. Thank you, Saison. Now let's try these gorgeous pieces on. Okay, before I try stuff on, I just wanted to show you guys my outfit that I'm wearing today. This is a thrifted striped top. It's not from any brand I've ever heard of. I'm wearing my Louise de Mas pendant necklace, my thrifted gold earrings, and then these uh, secondhand Poshmark A Goldie jeans, some Zara ballet flats. Yeah, I just felt really cute and obviously kind of very French in it today, but so I'm going to quickly try these cute pieces on. Okay, let's go. All right, here's the moment of truth. I Lint roll them, putting them on. 36, we'll see. So far, so good. Okay, inside button, outside button, zipper. Oh, oh yeah. These look fantastic. Okay, I'm kind of dying right now. They are stunningly 
beautiful. I can't even believe this right now. I think they're a wool blend. They feel amazing on. They just hit me at exactly the right point in my waist. And they're really cute because they're very cropped. They are like a knife pleat. And although I do have a pair of black trousers that I really like from And Other Stories, I thought that these would be worth the risk of trying out because I loved the cropped style. So far so good. And I think they look really cute with this top actually. Way too French, but. <laughs> okay, these are amazing. They're very high waisted. They come way past my belly button. So my belly button's like right right here or something. And they just fit beautifully. I love these. These would be a great length on you if you're petite because I'm just about 5'9". Yeah, and these work great. Yes. Okay. All right. The sweater is really cute, but it's kind of big, I feel like. I don't know. All right, I love it so far. My biggest concern is obviously that the sweater is going to leave one million thousand little hairs everywhere. I just lint rolled these pants and now obviously the sweater is going to have, you know, <laughs> stuff everywhere. So gosh, it's so pretty. I love it. I love it a lot. My goodness. I love these kind of, you know, what do you call this type of sleeve? And the v-neck is not too deep. I feel like it's perfect depth. That way you're not like, you know, bending over and showing your boobs. I really appreciate these uh, tortoise buttons. It feels really comfortable on. And I like that they're trying to kind of keep things all in the family, if you will. Because this button here is not clashing with this button. I feel so cute right now. This sweater is very warm. Let's see what it looks like untucked. So cute. I'll probably try this on with some jeans just so you guys can get a feel for it. But wow, do I love that look. That is so chic. I wouldn't say that the sweater runs big, but it's just very boxy through the waist, which is fine, but it fits well in the shoulders and the sleeve length is great. And I love it with these pants as well. Again though, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's like not the best combo. The mohair with the black slacks. You just gotta roll with it sometimes. So that's the only reason why I would consider returning this sweater is, is that it's gonna shed everywhere and then also it is a bit boxy. Tough decisions. What do you guys think about this sweater? I think I might be looking for something a little more streamlined but the same shape and the same color. Okay, so here is the beautiful blouse. It fits perfectly, I would say, if you're going based on like the classic French tailoring. However, I am a little concerned that this would not be a comfortable blouse to wear on a regular basis, therefore could I justify the cost? It's so pretty. I'm gonna try it on with jeans to see how I like it. So I did discover upon further inspection with the slacks that there are no belt loops, so you cannot wear a belt with these pants, and that the pockets are fake. These are just slits with buttons, so there's no actual pocket in here that you would undo and be able to put anything in. These pockets are rather deep and I love that. I hate it when pockets are so shallow and I feel like the tailoring here is just perfect. Okay guys, I have on the boots and the socks. These are my Everlane, I think they're called the Day Boot. And then I've got my J. Herbert Chanel Dupe bag. And I have to say, I really, really, really like it. I think it's so elegant and chic. I feel actually super cool with the boots on. And I just feel great, actually. I think it's actually an amazing fit and it's really, really beautiful. So I'm still gonna try it on with some jeans to see what the overall vibe is. But these Lurex socks are just so cute. Ah, it's a definite keeper. She's oh so cute. Yes, yes girl, yes. I was afraid this was gonna be too busy for me, but I think it's actually a good staple piece. I feel like you could really look effortlessly elegant and chic by having a nice, fun, beautiful, lacy blouse like this. I also think it works really, really well under a blazer. This is um, my Ralph Lauren double-breasted pinstripe blazer. I know my mirror is dirty, but I tried to clean it. It's just not getting clean. Yeah, I think this is a really cute fall chic 
look let me show you guys over here it's so cozy and cute yeah I think that's an amazing vibe I really do that's so classically French I think without being annoyingly cliche if you know what I'm saying I'm just trying to give you guys some options on how to style these pieces in different ways so that they can get more wear in your wardrobe so you don't have to always wear a really fancy blouse like this with high-waisted slacks or anything you know more professional or holiday you can actually wear it in a casual way and I think it works great I tried on the sweater again with with my redone jeans. These are like the most wonderful fitting jeans I've ever owned. I really, I love these, this brand, and I also really love and other stories. I do love A Goldie, but I haven't tried on other A Goldie styles. So I'm wearing the jeans with my secondhand Matisse leather ankle boots. So I thought I would keep it again just simple. I'm trying to make my color palette more refined and more neutral. And so I've got my Chanel dupe handbag here and I've got this tucked in front tuck. So the one thing with front tucking is I always kind of feel like I end up looking kind of wide, you know, but I really love the sleeves and the v-neck. So I actually feel really chic and cute and very sexy. This outfit is something I would definitely, definitely wear for fall myself. I just feel really cool. Yeah, yeah. I feel very neat in this. I mean, it's sexy from the front, right? But then when we turn to the side, it's kind of like, oh, ploop, you know, does it do much for me? Do I look too... I don't know. You guys tell me what you think. How would you style this? All right, you guys, that wraps up the Saison mini haul for fall 2022 review. I think it was a good one. I think I'm going to keep all the pieces, but again, I would love to know what you guys think in the comments section below. Which pieces are you excited about trying out from Saison for the fall fashion season? I will be sure to link all these products in the description box for you to check out. And don't forget that you can join my free private Facebook group where we talk about these things and more linked in the description box plus this is going to be one of the coolest seasons coming up on the channel so be sure to subscribe because next week is a big deal Jessica and I are going to be doing the Parisian style 10 by 10 challenge again so I'm really 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 thrilled for that if you've done the Parisian style 10 by 10 then you know how much fun it is so be on the lookout next week for that YouTube video and Jessica's and I can't wait to see you guys there all right take really good care of yourself I will see you guys again next week bye